giving ascents to heaven. These are the words of St. Euphrasia, also known as Praying Mother. St. Euphrasia Elrithingil was born on 17th October 1877 in Siro Malabar Catholic Nasrani family in Katur in Nyalagura, Trisur district in Kerala. Rosa was the eldest child of a wealthy land owner, Cherpukaran Anthony, and his wife, Kunyati. Rosa was baptized on 25th October 1877 in Our Lady of Carmel, Forani Church, Adaptiriti. At the age of nine, she was said to have experienced the apparition of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which led her to make a commitment never to marry and commit her entire life for God. At the age of 10, she entered a boarding school attached to the first indigenous Carmelite community in Siro Mallabar Church founded by St. Kuryakos Ilyas Chavra and Leopold Bakara in 1866 at Kunmao. As Rosa grew older, she wanted to enter the sisters of the mother of Carmel who followed the rules of the third order of the discalled Carmelites. Her father opposed this as he wanted her to marry a boy of another prosperous family of the region. But Rosa was firm in her decision and her father had to change his mind and accompany her to the convent. Rosa was received as a postulant taking the name of Sister Euphrasia of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and was admitted to the novitiate of the Carmelite congregation on 10th January 1898. St. Euphrasia would fall ill constantly. St. Euphrasia is said to have had a vision of the Holy Family, at which point the illness she had long felt ceased. St. Euphrasia made a solemn profession on 24th May 1900 during the blessing of the newly founded St. Mary's Convent. After she took her perpetual vows, she was appointed assistant to the novice mistress. In 1904, Euphrasia was appointed the novice mistress of the congregation. She held the position for nine years till 1913 when she was made the mother superior of the convent. Students sought after Mother Euphrasia to get prayer support and solution to their problems. The school children came running to her whenever they could in the intervals and after the class, especially when the examinations were near. Mother Euphrasia was happy to receive the children who were backward in studies and they mostly benefited from her. Those who had no hope to pass specially came to her and entrusted their worries with her. She would say, don't worry, you would pass. And they used to pass. Thus kids found solace in mother. Because of her charismatic gift, the words of knowledge, the word of wisdom, gifts of healing, faith, prophecy, discernment of spirits, gift of tongues, etc. She was able to help many people. She committed her entire life to God as a Carmelite nun. She endeavored to lead a life of constant prayer and of devotion to the sacred heart of Jesus. Became known to many people as the praying mother, St. Euphrasia spent much of her day in the convent chapel before the blessed sacrament, to which she had a strong devotion. She also nourished a great love and devotion for the Virgin Mary. Euphrasia died on 29 August 1952 at St. Mary's convent. The first reported miracle was curing a carpenter from bone cancer. Thomas Tharkan from Anchory in Olur, a furniture polishing worker, was diagnosed with a bone cancer and was admitted to the hospital. Later, before the surgery, a scan by a doctor showed no sign of tumour. Science has answers, but this disease cure had no answer of our knowledge, so I believe that this is nothing but miracle. Thomas' sister Rosie later claimed that this cure was the result of her prayers to Euphrasia. On 27 September 1986, the process of canonization began in Olur. On 29 August 1987, Saint Euphrasia was declared as a servant of God. On 5th July 2002, Pope John Paul II declared her venerable. 
Saint Eupresia was beatified on 3rd December 2006 in Saint Anthony's Church, Oulu, with the declaration of Major Archbishop Volker Vidaratil and Archbishop Petter Lozips Kuntela and Archbishop Jack Kuntendit Kulli. Around 500 priests were present for the beatification event. On 23rd November 2014, Pope Francis canonized Eupresia as the saint. It has become pilgrimage site as the miracle has been reported by the faithful. Today, as we celebrate her feast, let us submit ourselves and the whole world to Saint Eupresia, pleading her intercession to heal the world from this pandemic situation. Thank you.